What's going on? Today, we have a little bit different of a video. I'm not gonna be in control of anything today, at least not initially. I'm gonna put my dang seatbelt on before we get out here on the actual road. Going to hop in the boat with my little brother, Matt, today. Gonna fish behind him, put a chassis on, and see what happens. So, let's go get into it. Let's go see what we can catch. All right, there he is. He picked me up. I'm fishing out the back today. Are we gonna catch him? We can catch like a hundred. A hundred, a hundred four pounders on the lake that's only got 20 in it. All right, Matt, give us a little rundown. Well, what are we doing today? What's going on? All right, so basically, mm -hmm. water temp about 58, 59 degrees. Okay. Hardcore on the brink of spawning. On the brink. So. Brinking it out here. So we're about to just run these little spawning cuts and try to catch us a few giants. I know a lot of y'all saying, Matt's pretty ugly. Ain't no way he could be my brother. But look at this right here. The cover is still on the depth finder. So he's definitely my brother, 100%. He's dialed in like I am with his offshore electronics. So just because he's ugly don't mean we ain't brothers. I don't never fish here, but I've seen a lot of dead fish up here. I ain't. You ain't seen the best fish over here? I mean, I have. I ain't seen, I ain't seen a lot. And definitely not no big ones. They definitely spawn here. They, I mean, they have to. Yeah, I've, I've seen them under that suspended, but. You caught one of the fives that you saw? Yeah. And two of them were rolling, like on each other, so they, they, and they're both like the same size. Remember, I texted you and told you I seen like all them biggins? I went back to a tree where I had marked one of them biggins and made three casts in there and watched them come out and get it. I come in from the back. Right. Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll run it back through. Little bass, little ace bass. Now get your little, little ace under there and find me a big ace bass. Matt done broke him off one. Now he's putting him on an ace. He's going to feel the power. Do you feel my power, baby? Like Tony G. Tony G said, do you feel my power? Don't cut the tag ends too short if you don't, unless you really, really cinch it. That's how I do it, but I really cinch mine too. You gonna cut the skirt some, or are you gonna leave it long? Either way, it's fine. I, I cut it like super short. What color is that, Bama Crawl? Oh, might not in. Do I caught an eight pounder in there one time? That is not an eight pounder. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a good one though. I'm gone with it. <laughs> I didn't even set the hook. I was like, <laughs> set the hook on itself. He was running away. So I thought I was recording. I was not. Just caught me a three pounder on the swim jig. I actually just pitched under a dock. Caught me a good one though. But I lose confidence very, very quickly if I cannot see the bait. So when I'm throwing supernatural colors, I'll usually go down in size of the of the actual weight. So it just kind of floats a little bit better, stays up there a little bit shallower. I can keep my eye on the bait and I can really, you know, move it around and react to the way I want the bait to react. So a little tip, when you're using natural colors you can't see as well, I downsize and I fish it a little bit slower too. So Matt's out here today breaking in him the old ace jig caught about four on it so far pretty good pretty old good is there grass outside this oh my god there you go do it then son little ace areno little ace fish might use a little different trailer than I use, but same jig nonetheless. That's how it works. Oh, 
good decision to get you good results. On the tip of that little floating dock. Little puppy's interested. Look at the little puppy. Interested in my fish. Nice. Quarter ounce. Quarter ounce Punisher. Biggin? Nope. Spot. Spotted bass. God, he's pretty, ain't he? Might have been up there spawning. What'd you catch him on? Jeez, the dang uh, tree worm, boy. Got him one. Got him a spawner, probably, most likely. I was wondering about it. <laughs> I was like, they don't usually let worms go. Got you another one. Spotted bass. Matt's on that big giant magnum spot pattern. Oh my god. Get him. Oh. Oh. That is upsetting. How big is he? He's like a 12 inch. <laughs> god dog it, dude, bruh. Hold on, I'm gonna catch him if he's still willing. He ain't. <laughs> Not. He is no longer willing. Dude, that's like bite the LJ was talking about that day. <laughs> Matt, did you thought you had a big one? I thought when it when it was on the seawall, I thought. <laughs> You're like, how big is he? Like, Twelve no, inches, bro. No, I didn't think at that point. I didn't think he was big. Oh no, yeah, I know. I just thought he was a, uh, you know. All right, so I just decided to run and hop in the boat with my little brother, see how he handled things, and that was the video that we got out of it. Caught some fish, had a good time. I had to take over the boat a couple times, though, because he wasn't doing it the way I wanted it to be done. But I got to see the way he would attack the water and fish, and I actually learned a little bit from him, seeing the way that he sets the boat up and stuff like that. So all in all, very fun day. Always nice to be able to spend a day on the water with, with you know, your brother or whoever you have close to you that also enjoys fishing. So. Always a good time, and I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos. Turn the alerts on. We'll see y'all in the next video.